and then just uh, the white blast zones that uh, Battlefield has. Yeah. And the platforms help for the up airs too. But what is uh? Oh wait, yeah. wait, what? Are they are they switching mains right here? Uh, Red is going his Lucina. No, no, no. Lucina is uh is Leo. Oh no, wait. <laughs> no. Wait, where's going? Oh, they did switch. Yeah, they're doing main switch. Okay. Now the thing is, uh, this is actually one of um, Gluttony's strongest secondary characters. So wait, so you're saying that Gluttony has a Lucina? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember the summit and the, like the pre-summit stream where he was training his Lucina. He actually was doing really well with his character. But I've never seen uh, Leo use Wario at all. <laughs> yeah, the, the, stream, the streamer is uh, as shocked as we are. I don't know. Like, I don't. I don't sleep on top players secondary because they're just amazing players, and Wario is a strong character. But I feel like this is such a bold play right here. Well, this is the first set of winner semi, so this is going to be a best of five. So they do uh, have a little okay. bit of room to to play. Uh, you know change up and have a little bit of fun. Yeah. I guess it's funny because, like, they both know these characters really well. Like, Leo knows Lucina really well. Gladney knows Wario really well. So they, they know what the other person's going to go for, but I gotta <laughs> I gotta say, like, Gladney definitely has way more experience with Lucina in comparison. Well, I mean, we've seen just how, how much damage, like, that, that Wario is able to put out. I mean, really, just it's really about opening up your opponent with with Wario and then converting. Yeah, I would. I do believe uh, Tweak was able to beat Leo's Lucina with his Wario, in spite of it being a pretty difficult match. I would say, just because Wario kind of struggles with swords in general, mm -hmm. because he doesn't have that range contest a lot of times. I mean, but once you're in their face, like it. You're already you're already within oh. that space. Oh, but the oh, down smash man. does whiff, and so does a dolphin oh. slash. What? No, where's no the F tilt? <laughs> no, no what? Save the wop. Give him an F tilt. Give him F smash. Or, or just use wop. Just get rid of that stock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a super free punish. They're both dying laughing like. Yeah, they're having a great time up there, which is definitely what you want to see oh, with the uh, you know smash. top players that are definitely switching their mains. Wow. <laughs> The S smash actually connecting on the roll there. Okay, dropping through the platform, throwing out an up air, but these parries from MK Lay are just too good. That's cool to see how people have gotten much better at parrying and getting their uh, punishes from that. Mm -hmm. Oh, chasing with the forward air, putting Gluttony off stage. Now, looking for the falling up air to combo into Wap, but there it is! Uh, not gonna kill, but that's a ton of percent. If it went the other way towards like the left blast zone, maybe. Yeah, probably wow. would have ended the game if he went towards the blast zone. Almost. Is, is Leo's Wario going to actually win right now? I mean, <laughs> He's actually got such a huge isn't, isn't Leo like arguably the best player in, in the, the game? In the world. In the world, so. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess that just comes <laughs> to the territory. But I've literally <laughs> never seen him play this game. Oh my goodness, up smash out of shield. Gluttony's swinging for the fences right now and Leo's covering everything. Now we see a down throw. Of course, going to easily be able to follow up with an up air. And now up air oh. being chased. Gluttony going for the up throw. Oh my goodness, he just charges in his face. Covers a neutral get up. <laughs> oh, the faces that Leo's giving him. Like, mm, how do you like that? Like, yeah, that's right. With the main. <laughs> Oh, now, so now the, the next level of disrespect would be to <laughs> Wario Ditto. Oh my goodness. There's Do you no think way. it will happen? Do you think it will happen? Oh my goodness. I feel like if Leo is just that like confident and Gunny just is like, dude, I have to beat you. Like I don't want to lose. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, at least we're getting to see the Marts because Okay. Leo had been tweeting about uh, how he thinks Marth has potential in this game. Well, and he's recently discovered how to consistently get the tipper a dancing blade, and it kills insanely early. Yeah, I think I've seen it kill like at 80. Yeah, it's, it's a, a lot of reason why he has put a lot more time in his character. Okay, well, hopefully we get to see a little bit of that here tonight. That's funny. He forced Red needs to go with his main, and then he just counterpicked him in the <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. Kind of the debut of uh, 
Leo's turned me Marth. That's right. I mean, it, it has it is keeping up with the damage output that Gluttony's been able to put out. But it's really now that now that Gluttony's at this 80% mark, let's see if uh, Leo can actually make use of the, of the Dancing Blade. He did throw out Dancing Blade one. Back off stage again, going super deep, saving jump really well. He's gonna land the counter. Oh yeah, we're gonna take that. Yeah, Ooh. of course, the most uh, obvious tech oh. in the world. But oh. falling, just going a little bit too far off stage. When he gonna forfeit that stock, but getting a command grab, throwing Leo off stage again. Yeah, Leo's one of the last people you want to give a free stock to, but a little bit too greedy for the grab attempt there. Gets covered with the up smash. Get down Ooh. throw into back air. Easy damage from Mars. 18%. We're going to get the downwards dancing blade as well. Just rack up the percent spacing so well with these tippers too. Yeah, and throwing, sending, a, using the last hit of dancing blade to send up. Ooh. I like the always sending up with the dancing blade, especially if he's like low and mid percents, yep. because it does set up for like a follow up. Yeah, Puts him in a 50 50 situation. Yeah, especially with how uh, movement's much better in this game. He can dash right under you and throw the up so. Okay, get the parry, but the second hit still active from Wario's Nair. Definitely starting to see the struggle that Wario has against these sword characters. Now we are a character like Marth gets the Wario for spacing really well. It's going to be very difficult for uh, Gluttony to get in right here. Mm -hmm. Throwing the bike at Leo, and now with full waft, uh, percent's about even. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be in that last of the dead, but just fading back, staying really safe here. Oh, going to read the tech. Oh, Ooh, doesn't let it rip. In fact, goes for a falling up air. Trying to apply some pressure here, though. You always have to worry about the spread of that walk. But oh, the bike! bike! Put him in lag and let him be punished immediately. I mean, pulling the trigger, knowing exactly how many frames that Leo was just going to be stuck holding the bike. And now Leo able to pick up that stock with the tipper forward air. Nice spacing. I love to see uh, Leo get uh, tipper so consistently with Marth in this game. A lot of people don't uh, like this version of Marth because they feel like his tipper isn't as consistent as before. Yeah, it definitely feels a lot harder to get tippers. But I feel like it's gotten harder every single game. Yeah, exactly. They just make that 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 uh, hitbox just harder to find. So, Leo still making the character work right now, though. Ooh, look at this falling up air. So Gluttony is just ready for some type of aerial approach. But a down air does connect. F Smash is going to follow up. One, two, three, four. And Gluttony still in the game. Oh, there it is. The Tipper Dancing Blade punishing him for picking up the bike. And that makes complete sense. He, he stalled out the third between the third and the fourth hit just to make sure that Gluttony was, in fact, at the perfect range. Yeah. I remember before in uh, Smash 4, Leo was really famous for getting that like downwards angle of Dancing Blade to always pop into the Tipper to kill really early. Yeah. I guess all it took was him finding the new setup into the Tipper Dancing Blade. And I guess that's just waiting a few frames for them to fall back because you can mash that button pretty quick. Yeah. Okay, and here we have Game 3. MK Leo sticking it out with Marth. Ooh. Set of super clean Tipper. Oh. Oh, and that second hit of Tipper, uh, Nair uh, connected. Yeah, already really gross. Potential zero to death setup. No, not able to land the counter as Gluttony recovers low, close to the stage. But Perry into down smash. Nice. I like the down tilt to set the uh, Texas situation and immediately. Get he was the able down to. <laughs> he was able to dolphin slash between the two hits of Nair. Yeah, that uh, does have start up invincibility, so it's a really safe thing to go for. Okay, and Gluttony making sure that's not a zero to death. Tech chase? Nice. That's why I love down tilt with the sword characters in this game. All you gotta do is be patient after that down tilt, and you can cover a lot of things with a kill. Right in there, and now we see Gluttony putting on a good little bit of damage onto Leo. Up tilt connecting. What is this aggression from Leo? In game two, we saw him playing like the, the sort of, you know, traditional Marth game where you're spacing out, trying to find a. The, the correct spacing uh, between him and Gluttony, but now it's just pure aggression. Yeah, that's a part of what's really good about like top players in general. Is they can play a mix of both styles and really good at just switching up. Oh, using the bike to cover the roll option. So smart. Yeah, easy tech, of course, can be so telegraphed. Yeah, and also the window attack in this game is much larger than before. Oh. 
take off the bike, try to see if he can get something to set up, but nice timing on that up beat, get right through it. Yeah, Gluttony should have known that Leo was going to recover high because he had lost his second jump. Yeah. He was really essentially forced to recover high or use Dolphin Slash on the bike. Oh man, throwing off the sword at the ledge is so hard for him to get back to center stage. Yeah, Gluttony, of course, using expending his second jump, expending his directional air dodge. Oh, now a back air landing onto Gluttony. MK Leo still on his first stock. Loving the Marth right here. Okay, Leo not disappointing. And the back air does land for Gluttony. Nice spacing. Yeah, right when uh, Gluttony wants to start jumping in, like, already has to worry about that sword. Forced to use the waft just to get a little bit oh, of vertical distance to, to recover. Yeah, now he's just forced to recover high. They're working on a potential three stock, and there's that new dancing play killing that killed. at like 81%. I mean, I know I said it killed at 80, but the fact that I just saw it kill at 80 is completely different. That's that the Marth. You guys want Is that the, the future? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. It's That's now. The it's the present. <laughs> <laughs> the future is now. <laughs> it's now. Great stuff from MK Leo. Three stock in the game. Three getting it 3-0 over Gluttony. Even beating him with his own character. Uh Best player in the world right now? I mean, it's I can't think of uh, anyone else. Hey, you yeah. get off and I get to I'll, I'll get off. All right, so I guess Sedge wants to commentate. So I'll get off for the night. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be 2GD Z flat. I might be back on a little bit later. Uh, I'm not sure, but we'll see how the, how the night goes. If anything, you guys will see me tomorrow at exactly. Prime Saga, so be sure to you know tune in tomorrow and check me out. Sure. All right, good stuff, Strats. Yeah, uh, I think Korean also is coming later on, too. So uh, I might get a replacement for him until he gets here. But uh, until then, I'm going to rock it out with Sedge. How you doing, man? What's up, man? All righty, yeah. Oh, so man. I finished running my pool. And, oh, it uh, just got No, 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 no. I, I had to pick up K at the airport, oh. too. So, yeah, now I'm all good. And, uh, yeah, happy and to be here and commentate some of the pre-show with you guys. Yeah, it's going to be really insane. Like, the level of play is just, like, so high, and it's just a local. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the pre-shows are always a treat to have if you have them at the tournaments, especially because it's a little bit more lax. You know, it's not like people are on edge because it's still the competitive spirits happening. You know, all the singles going to be tomorrow.